हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेन एवर द फॉर्म इज सबमिटेड बाय अ एलिमेंटर हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट इनवॉइस इन वेव अकाउंट ऑटोमेटिकली सो फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दीस सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशंस आर ऑल अबाउट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑटोमेशन वी आर यूजिंग टू सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशंस द फर्स्ट वन इज एलिमेंटर फॉर्म्स व्हिच इज अ फॉर्म बिल्डिंग सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन एंड इट इज अ प्लगइन ऑफ वर्डप्रेस so in place of elementor forms we can also use gravity forms paper forms or contact form 7 or any other form building software application and the second application we are using is wave which is a business accounting software so in place of wave we can also use fresh books quick books zoho books or any other business accounting software so in this particular automation the idea here is that whenever a new form is submitted via elementor forms automatically the invoices should get generated for the customer for this we need to create a connection between elementor forms and wave and for creating an integration we are going to use a software application named pabli connect so basically pabli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so first we have to create an integration between elementor forms and pabli connect then pabli connect is going to capture all the details of the customer and the products which were purchased by the customer then using the details of the customer automatically the invoices will get generated into your wave account and in this way we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between elementor forms and wave using pabli connect so let us learn the integration process now on my screen for this let us type p a b b l y pabli.com in our browser this is the website of pabli here we have to come to products and click on pabli connect this is the landing page of pabli connect as you are the first time user you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option and you will get 100 task free every month as i already have an account with pabli connect i'll simply click on sign in Let's click on login. In the all app section, here we have to come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Elementor Forms. Two, Wave Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case we want to generate the wave invoices through the Elementor form submission. So open this trigger window and here in the choose application let us find Elementor forms. In the trigger event, we have to select new form submission. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions are also mentioned. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Elementor forms. So I'll copy this webhook URL from here. I'll go to the dashboard of my WordPress account. So this is my WordPress dashboard. Here I have already created some pages. I'm just going to open them. Here I have already created a page for the wave invoice. Let us search for it. Okay, so this is the web page wave invoice where I have embed the form. So let's click on this edit with Elementor. Okay, I'll just close this navigator window from here. And here I'll just minimize the form fields. And here we can find actions after submit option. Click on it. Here we have to add the action. Click on this plus sign. and add webhook as an action and here we can find webhook activated open webhook now here we have to paste the webhook url which we have copied from pabli connect okay and click on update so webhook is updated on this particular page let's go back to pabli connect and here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response so in order to capture the response we have to do a test submission it means we have to fill up the form so i'll just go to the wave invoice form over here and let us fill the details i'm just going to give the first name as adam 
last name as Smith, email address as Adam Smith 25 at the rate gmail.com, unit price as 150 rupees and it is an INR that is Indian rupees and here we have to give the quantity as 100 and let's click on submit. Okay, the form was sent successfully. So, the form has been filled. Now, let's move back to Public Connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the customer as well as the product which the customer has purchased is captured over here. Okay, here we can find the first name as Adam, last name as Smith, email address, unit price 150, quantity as 100. So, now we want to generate an invoice using these details of the customer. But for generating the invoice, we need the date also. So, in order to capture the date, come to this action window. Here in the choose application, let us find date and time for matter. In the action event, we have to select current date. Click on connect. Now, here we have to select the basic format. So, I want the date to be in YY, MM and DD format. So, I am just keeping the format as same over here. Include time and response. No, I don't want to include the time. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And in the response, we can see that the current date is captured. Okay, now we want the due date also. That the payment should be collected within how many days. So, in order to capture the due date, let's click on this plus sign and click on add action step. In the choose application, let us find date and time formatter once again. In the action event, we have to select modify current date. Click on connect. Now here we have to give the date format. So the date format will remain same. Here we have to select the time zone. So here we have to select the time zone that is Asia Kolkata as we are in India. Here we have to select the operation. So operation means how many days we want to add to this particular date or we want to subtract. So I want days to be added. Let us select add operation. Now unit we have to select days are minutes. I want the days to be added. And here we have to give the value. So I want three days to be added to the current date. Okay, within three days the payment should be collected. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, so the date which we have received was 23 of February 2022. And here we have received the due date that is 26th of February 2022. It means plus 3 days. So now we want to check whether the customer exists in our wave or not. For that, click on this plus sign add action step. Here in the choose application, let us find wave. In the action event, we have to select get customer by email. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with WAVE. Now Pabli Connect wants additional access to WAVE account. Okay, let's click on allow access. Authorization successful. And now the WAVE account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my WAVE account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into your WAVE account. Now here we have to select the business name which is automatically captured. And here we have to map the customer email address. So we have already got the customer email address through the form submission from Elementor Forms. So we are going to map this email address now. Okay. So let us map the email address from Elementor. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the responses received. And here we have find all the details of the customer. It means the customer do exist in the wave account. Let's check it. I'll take you to my wave account. This is my wave dashboard. Here we'll be moving to the sales option and here we can find the customers and here we can find the customer named Adam Smith. So this particular customer do exist. Let's move back to public connect. Now we want that if the customer exists then what needs to be done but if the customer does not exist then what needs to be done. So we have two conditions over here. So to fulfill the conditions, we are going to apply the routers over here. For that, click on this plus sign add action step. 
in the application name let us find routers now here we have two routes okay i am just going to rename this route by clicking on this three dots so the route one will be if customer exist okay let's click on update and here i'll be renaming the route to as if customer does not exist does not exist okay let's click on update so now we have to set the filter and action steps for both, both these routes so let us set up the filters and action steps for the first route now here we have to apply the condition we have to set up the filter so in the filter we are going to select the label for, from the fourth action step that is wave and here we are going to search for the id that is the customer id okay so if the customer id the uh, the data will be data business customer edges node id so if the customer id is existing so is exist then what needs to be done let's click on save and send test request so the response is received and the condition is true yes the customer do exist then we have to in create the invoice for the customer so click on add action step here in the choose application let us find wave in the action event we have to select create invoice click on connect here we have to select the existing connection just because we have recently created a connection click on save now here we have to select the business name it is automatically captured now here we have to map the customer id for mapping we have to enable the mapping button i'll just remove this particular data from here okay and come to the fourth step get customer by email and from here we are going to map the customer id okay data business customer edges zero node id let us map it now it is getting loaded over here okay now here we have to select the item product so i am selecting it as led bulb here we have to give the description so let us give the item description as use led bulb for low electricity consumption here you can give the description as per your requirement here we have to give the item price let us map it from elementor forms and the price is 150 rupees here we have to map the quantity that is 100 here we have to give the currency so as we are in india i am giving inr for indian rupees here we have to map the invoice date so we have got it from the date and time formatter the current date is the invoice date okay now here we have to give the invoice number so the invoice number will automatically get generated into the wave account here we have to give the invoice title so let us give it as elem as we have getting the invoices generated from elementor form submission okay you can give the title as per your requirement here we have to select the invoice status so the status i am selecting it as a draft okay invoice subheading invoice footer po number if you want to mention all these details you can map it over here here we have to give the due date from modify current date because we have added plus 3 days to the current date so this is the due date okay let's scroll down disable credit card payments you can select it as per your requirement okay so i'm just keeping all these details as same over here and let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it it means uh, invoice is generated for the customer so let's check it here we'll be moving to the invoices section let's move to the drafts over here and here we can find a new invoice in the draft for adam smith let's open it and check so this invoice was created just 2 minutes ago okay here we can see that it is billed to adam smith here we can find the invoice number invoice date at is today's date payment due on 26 february plus 3 days here we can find the amount as 15000 here we can find the items the name of the item along with that the description quantity price and the total amount okay so in this way we can see that a correct invoice is generated for the customer okay and uh, this particular invoice is in draft just because we have selected the draft option over here okay 
I'll just show you. Yes, invoice status as draft. So if you select it as an unpaid invoice, it will be moved to the unpaid section. Okay. So I'm just keeping it in draft right now. Okay. And let's click on done. So this was the condition for the customer if the customer is existing in the wave account. Now we are going to set up the condition for the customer who does not exist in the wave account. For that click on set filter and action steps. And here we are going to set up the filter once again. And here we have to select the customer ID. Okay. And again it will be data business customer edges node ID. And this time the filter type will be does not exist if this particular customer does not exist let's click on save and send test request so here we can see the response and here in the message we can see that the condition is false just because the uh, customer do exist in the wave account but in the real time it will work properly okay now we want that if the customer does not exist then first create a customer for that click on this plus sign add action step in the choose application, let us find wave. In the action event, let's click on create a customer. Click on connect. Select the existing connection and click on save. Now select the business name as Pabli. Here we have to select the customer name. So let us map it from Elementor form submission. The first name as well as the last name also. Here we have to give the first name once again from Elementor. Okay. Here we have to map the last name. Let us map it as Smith. Here we have to map the email address of the customer. If you have the mobile details, phone details and all other details, you can map it over here. Okay. Here we can map the currency. So let us give it as INR. Let's scroll down. If you have the address details, you can add the address details also. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a new customer will get generated into the wave account. So now we want to create the invoice for this particular customer. Okay, for that come to this plus sign and click on add action step. In the choose application, let us find wave once again. In the action event, we have to select create invoice, click on connect, click on select as existing connection and click on save. Now here we have to give the business name, it is automatically captured. Here we have to give the customer name, we have to map the customer name for that enable this mapping button, remove this data from here and we have to map the customer name from the Previous step that is create a customer. Okay. And from here we have to map the customer ID. So this will be the customer ID. So let's map it here. Okay. It is lo started loading now. Here we have to map the item product as LED bulb. Here we have to give the description of the product. Here we have to map the price. So the price will be same that is 150. Here we can, we can map the quantity as 100 okay here we have to map the currency that is INR here we have to map the invoice date from current date okay let's scroll down here we have to give the invoice title so I'm giving the same title over here for the Elementor forms invoice status as draft I'm keeping same this time also just because it will be a little bit difficult to identify from draft and unpaid invoices. You can select unpaid as per your requirement. Okay. Invoice subheading, invoice footer, PO number, you can map it over here. Here you have to map the due date from current, uh, sorry, from modified date plus three days. Okay. And we are leaving all these details. And let's click on save. Data saved successfully. Okay. And let's click on done. So we have set the filter and action steps or the rules for both these conditions. Okay. If the customer exists, then automatically an invoice should get generated for the customer. And if the customer does not exist in the wave account, then first create a customer and then create the invoice for that particular customer. Okay. So now we have to check this in the real time, whether our integration is working or not. 
For that, I will be just going to the elementor form once again. And here I am just going to fill up the form on the name of a customer who does not exist in the wave account. Okay. So, I will just check the customer name once. So, let us check whether Sanjay Sharma do exist in the wave account or not. I am just finding the customer. That is Sanjay. Okay, we can we cannot find any customer. Zero customers found. So, let us create an invoice for Sanjay Sharma over here. Let's give the customer first name as Sanjay. Last name as Sharma. Email address as Sanjay S123 at the rate gmail.com. Unit price as 150 and quantity as 50 this time. And let's click on submit. Okay, the form was sent successfully. So, the form has been filled. Now, we have to check our wave account, whether the customer is created and whether an invoice is generated for that customer or not. Let's go to the wave account. And first, we have to refresh it. So, we are on the customer section. Let us find the customer named Sanjay over here. And here we can find a customer created named Sanjay Sharma. Email address as sanjay123 at gmail.com. Okay. Now, let us check the invoice for this particular customer. Let's move to the draft section. And here we can find a new invoice for the name of Sanjay Sharma. Let's open it. Okay, so the invoice is created just now. This uh, uh, invoice is built to Sanjay Sharma. Here we can find the email address. Here we can find the invoice date. Here we can find the payment due on this particular date. Item name, item description, quantity as 50, price as 150. So, in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So, let's move back to Public Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'll just minimize all the action steps over here. So, first we have created an integration between Elementor Form and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of the customer and the product used through the form submission. Then we have used date and time formatter to capture the current date because we need the date for creating the invoice. Then we have modified the date. We have added three days to the current date just in order to get the due date. Then we have uh, checked that the customer exists in the wave account or not using this particular wave action. Then we have used routers to check that if the, if the customer do exist, then our invoice should get generated. And if the customer does not exist, then first the customer needs to be generated into the wave account and then the invoice needs to be generated for that particular customer. So, in this way, we have created a successful integration between Elementor Forms and Wave using Public Connect. So, not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.